myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll try to look at a new role, which is Power Platform Developer. You would have heard about many developers, UI developers, database developers, full stack web application developers. But what is this Power Platform Developer? Now, this is nowadays is becoming trend and most of the organizations are looking for Power Platform Developers. Now, We'll try to look at it. What exactly is this Power Platform Developer? Who can become a Power Platform Developer? And what is the roles and responsibilities of a Power Platform Developer? Now, as a process, let me walk you through what is Power Platform and who is a Power Platform Developer. And we'll also look at it in the real time, how this is going to be useful for many companies, organizations, as well as startups, even uh, the big chains are also using it. We'll see some real-time applications. And as in then, we'll see the roles and responsibilities. Then we will look at the opportunities and the demand, and we will also have a uh, thought on the future. Now, this is something which we will discuss as part of this video. Now, just before we get into a developer role, first we we'll look at it, what is Power Platform? Now, Power Platform is completely organized by Microsoft. So all the products that was developed is by Microsoft. And you can see that around five tools are there currently under Power Platform. Starting with Power BI. Now, Power BI is the oldest one. I repeat, we are all thinking that Power BI is a new tool, which is just seven years old. But the fact is, it is the oldest tool among the Power Platform which is used only for visualization, right? We know that, okay, you give a raw data, it converts into charts, visuals, and maybe you can come up with a better insights. That is what we'll, we know. But apart from that, we also have other tools, which is helpful for different business use cases. For example, Power Apps. You can build your own custom application for your business. It can be your mobile application, or it can even be your tablet application it can be anything and as and then nowadays since most of the people are using applications so due to the manpower we also have something called virtual agents so virtual agents like it responds to our questions some of the questions will be repeatedly asked so we use chatbots so that is a latest tool that again was introduced in 2019 and then automation so of course everyone needs an automation you need to remove your manual work from your applications and then you need to automate it for that we have a power automate and all in all if you are running a business the minimum requirement is you should have either one app or you should have a website for having a website we also have power pages which is responsible for us to create a web application now all these products i would say it's a power platform and the one who develops this is called as a power platform developer now just to give you more use case on this power platform where and all it is useful right now chatbots let's say for example i have ordered something in swiggy or zomato it is delayed of course we cannot wait because something which you have ordered and you're waiting for it and by the time it takes more time, the next minute you go and ask, where is my order, right? So we use chatbots in a real time for most of the use cases, whether you're going and using for a banking application or you're raising some, some tickets, right? And you want to talk to an agent. So all this, we usually use chatbots. Now, application. Today, let's say KSR Data Vision, if I just say that we are running an institute, do you believe? No, you look for the proof. What you look, either you look at the app or you look at the website. So minimum requirement for any application is you should have a 
website. If you don't have a website, who will use it? Correct. How will you trust us? If you don't have a website for Amazon or a Flipkart, do you go and trust the product? Definitely no. So web applications is also really needed. And flow process. Let's say you have to have some process oriented. You go and raise a request. It has to go for an approval. It has to again reviewed by the senior person and then it has to be published. So this is something which needs a process. Now all this, if you see every business, every startup, every big chains need this. If you want to have an any event organization, yes, you can still do it with your app. Now all this is really must and needed for organization. Now if I just move one step further and if I talk in terms of a real time application, every industry whether it's a retail or it's a financial or it's an insurance or it's anything related to real estate banking e-commerce transportation all this any real-time domain if you say everyone needs their own way of developing the business for that they need websites they need their own apps they need some virtual agents where you can, they can go and respond to their customers for all of this i would say your power platform is really helpful in delivering your products now let me give another use case last week my internet was not working so i have to raise a complaint now the moment i raise a complaint a technician will come even you have experienced this. Have you ever seen in any of your place where technician is coming with a big kit where he's carrying laptops, systems, computers, anything like that? No, they just come up with a smartphone with their own app installed. The moment I tell the ticket ID, automatically they'll pull up every details. When was the last issue? When was the last connected network? Every details they'll pick up from their own app and then they will resolve it. And by the time they resolve, they'll update the ticket then and there and then they will go for the next ticket. All they are doing is in their own app. Now, all this comes under your field service. Sales and marketing. You just try to deliver a product. You market a product. Some sales has been happened. Immediately, you can go and update in your application right customer service someone who wants to talk to someone regarding some issues we have a virtual agent now all this if you see every business needs and the business can be anything and that is how this is useful and the most important about power platform is you can do it with less coding now we'll see a person who develops this is called a power platform developer now you would have seen a different type of developers like a ui developer or you would have seen a testing application or it's like you would have seen a production support and you would have seen some uh, development side so all in all this power app power platform developer knows everything he knows to design an application he knows to develop he also knows to do testing he also knows to where to deploy he also collaborates with a different application one person who can do all of the entire life cycle of the project well you call yourself as a power platform developer if i am running a business if i want to build a mobile application website application or virtual agents or a website do you think i'll hire four people why will i do that one person who's capable of doing everything i will hire him so that's what we are going to do as part of our power platform developer right so these are roles and responsibilities right from the application design until maintaining and collaborating with the other tools we can use this and all in all why this is in demand well one thing just keep in mind this comes with low code okay and organizations are something which needs everything faster nowadays no organizations is ready to wait if tomorrow I am starting a new institute or let's say we are starting another branch, we will not wait. Immediately we need an app, immediately we need a website, immediately we need marketing team. And that's what every organization needs now. The way the trend is moving on with the technologies, every organization are actually needing their product to be ready within 
less time and that's what this power platform will help us within few days you can build a complete application complete working application you can build and the most important thing is it comes with a less coding wherever you go there is a digital transformation right nowadays even if i forget wallet i can still spend from my smartphone we have many digital payments everything you just give me a smartphone and i can do anything that is how the world is training to digital transformations and that is what is the demand and the bad thing is we don't have skilled people organizations are looking for this type of developers who can take care of everything but unfortunately there is no one in the market where the companies can hire okay it's very very easy to develop the tools by using this power platform and finally you can collaborate with any other applications and you can make it as end-to-end -end application now all this are the reasons why it is in demand now i would like to conclude that organizations are looking for power platform developers but they are not finding it because it's a very very new tools that we have if you see everything has introduced in the last four five years forget about other technologies was 20 25 years of old this tools have been introduced in right from 2015 2015 power bi then 2018 power apps 2019 virtual agents 2020 power automate and 22 last year it was power pages now all these tools was introduced in the last four five years but unfortunately there is no one who can develop these tools these applications for the companies now as a result we also have given some job opportunities job opportunities i just searched power platform developer okay see the number of openings that you can see in Naukri. Ninety-five thousand job openings only on this almost one lakh almost one lakh job openings when i was just searching for this i've got it and apart from that you can also get more opportunities over linkedin indeed i just did a random search even you can go and search in google you will see the same thing and recently microsoft ceo has also told that they are integrating chat gpt with the power platform to enhance more and come up with more idea suggestions and this is what is future they have spent a lot of amount they have invested a lot of amount on chat gpt so both have interconnected and they will definitely come up with a better improvement to the products as of now this is a technology which is going to be in demand because of less skilled people as a result we are also going to start a power platform developer course where you can learn how to build a website how to build an app how to do the analysis how to build a chatbot everything you will learn at one place that is what we are going to start so this course is going to start within our institute ksr data vision so please reach us for more details you will get more clarity on the course. Thank you all. Please subscribe our channel. We'll meet in the next video.